Hey, what's going on everyone? This is TNCS Fishkeeping and in today's video I'm going to do a water change in my 75 gallon because I've recently done a video um, the tank update on this tank for April and after that video I immediately noticed something growing on the floor of my tank I'm not sure if you can see that but it's like some type of fungus or something I'm not sure if it's back it's if it's beneficial bacteria or not so I've already started cleaning this tank because it might just take too much time and I remove some of the dead plants that I used to have and some of the leftover food that was lying on the floor of my tank and now I'm going to start scrubbing everything from the pumps to the wall to the wall to the floor everything so I can try to remove the fungus that is currently growing in my tank so keep watching so you can see As you can see guys, I've cleaned up the floor and I've mostly removed all the dead plants or leaves that was on the plants. I'm gonna remove that. But as you can see the water has become a bit cloudy. Cloudy. So I'm gonna do a water change after that. So I can remove as much nitrate as I can so that it would prevent the fungus or bacteria or non-beneficial bacteria from growing any further so let's go how I do water changes so this is my setup it's just a 75 pesos pump in the pet shop and I just attached a hose rod to it so that I could control or point it at where the food or leftover poop is still there 
and there's just a hose running towards my bathroom so the water goes directly to the um, sink or to some somehow I forgot what's called the the hole in the bathroom or the yeah so let's begin What I was talking about, this is some type of bacteria that I'm not sure what it is, but I don't think it is good. So I'm gonna treat my tank with some methylene blue and a lot of salt. I hope that's gonna work, so I'm gonna see tomorrow after this water change. So, if, and if you guys know what type fungi or bacteria that is comment down below I'm not sure if the salt is working but it is less attached to the tank and earlier it earlier it was moving it was moving its tentacles but now it's like just swaying along with the water so not sure if the salt worked or it was the method in blue but I really hope that I extinguish permanently this parasitic type of bacteria in my tank. I'm cleaning the tank and most of it I've scrubbed off and I'm oh, sorry. So most of it I've scrubbed off and as you can see so I hope that the salt and the methylene blue it's gonna do its job. So this is what this is what my tank is gonna look like for the next couple of days until I've fully cleaned out all the methylene blue. And by the way, <clears throat> methylene blue is not recommended for plants. Based on my experience, plants may die off, or I guess it depends on everyone's experience. But from my experience, my plants died off before. Which is okay because I really can't remove the plant right now because it already had some of it growing on it. So I hope the methylene blue does its, does its job. So I'm gonna do a shout out later after this. After I fully... Fully replaced all the water that I've taken out from the tank so later hey guys I'm back and I've done a little research on this on these microscopic little things growing on my tank and they're actually called hydras and they're scientifically uh, categorized as animals like you and me and based on my research they grow up to about an inch at max size and they have a specific type of stem cells that prevents them from aging so that is pretty cool if you ask me and so far based on my research they aren't harmful unless you have like shrimp and other copepods like Daphnia and others so a little 
I, at first I was a little alarmed at what I saw but as my research research says most of the fish eat these unknowingly so I'm still gonna try and remove all of them because I don't like the total look of it but look here's one flowing through the water I think that one I, I'm not sure if that one's dead but I think some of the salt and the methylene blue that has done its job so that's a little um, confirming I guess so I was stressing too much but that's okay because at least I've done my research research on these guys and now learned that they aren't that harm that harmful to my arowana they are just I'm not sure I'm not sure if I'm going to totally remove these guys or might keep some of them in this jar for studies if anyone wants to know because they have these little tentacles on them as you can see right there in the middle they have these tentacles which like the sea anemone in the ocean they grasp onto some prey and they have some type of poison or some type of tentacles inside those five larger tentacles which penetrate in their prey so that is very interesting and very surprising that I found some of them in my tank so I hope everyone has liked my video and I'll try to do some more surprising and very I'm not I'm not gonna say unnatural but somewhat um, not frequent videos something on very specific things like these hydras because this is very interesting for me and I'm gonna see how they're gonna reproduce because based on my research they were they are asexual and like the starfish when you cut off a piece of that of those guys it'll grow into a brand new hydra hence the name start doing the shout outs so this is gonna be my first time doing shout outs for people so first off we're gonna start with Carl Carl Ken Abuhen thanks so much Samuel William Nueva Mob TV. So first comment in the last video April tank update and John Darren Batioko. So shout out to each and every one of you and I hope you guys keep watching my videos and sh share it to someone who would want to know more about fish and that's it. Thanks.